So here we are at 209 West Cumberland Street in Lewisburg, Ohio. We have a multi-family property here, a double. So in the front apartment that we're looking at now, you could potentially have three bedrooms. You've got a large family room, large dining room, or a living room, whichever you prefer. Nice kitchen, and you do have the deck on the side here. This property does have a new roof, just put on in 2019, I believe. It has a lot to offer here. So on the back side of 209, which is 209 and a half, we have a three bedroom, two bedrooms upstairs, one bedroom downstairs, and then you could potentially have a whole nother upstairs um, with a kitchenette upstairs as we'll go in and we'll tour the property. But it's important to note there's a lot of history in this house where the owner has taken great care. Lots of woodwork, lots of stories behind the woodwork. It's a very interesting house, very historical and worth, worth going through this video. So we'll take a look inside. So we're walking into 209 West Cumberland Street, apartment A. When you first come in, and we came in through the back entrance here, you've got your laundry room. Look at the wood trim, the wood siding in here. This is no joke, this is the real deal. This was built <clears throat> many years ago. The owner had lots of refurbished parts and wood and he rebuilt this entire house with all these different types of wood. Now let me pan up to the ceiling and check out the wood beams. They go all the way through the property. I should say this house. It does go through the other apartment as well. Amazing. The craftsmanship that they had. So you come in, you got a little breakfast nook here. Sorry about blinding you here. Let's see if I can back it out a little bit. So you do have a breakfast nook. Little dining room table. And these are all walnut uh, countertops. And the owner has built those cabinets by hand. So really, really nice. Just needs a little freshening up maybe or could leave it rustic like it is. Either way, pretty, pretty nice deal here. Now this is a two bedroom and probably a third, depending on what your needs are. But this is a big place. Um, so we come into the front living room here. Kind of pan around. This is kind of like a sitting area here. And then we come into another living room. Very large living room, lots of living space here. And this is facing the front of the house. This living room is facing the front of the house. So we're gonna kind of pan around. That would be the third bedroom, but we'll get back to that. So we've got a fireplace here. It is inoperable, it doesn't work. So it's just for looks really, but kind of ornate. So let's go back and start, let's take, kind of go back through the house. We're going back through the living room. Everything kind of connects to each other. So we're gonna come in here to the first bedroom. Get my flashlight on here, give it a little more light. I guess, sorry about that. Okay, so we come into the first bedroom. Plenty of space here. Two closets, as it hers. And we will go into the bathroom. And I'll get some light on here. Check out that cabinetry. <laughs> Simply amazing, guys. Hardwood flooring. And then look again at the barn seal, the barn beam going through. Now this property does have, this side does have a gas forced air furnace that is down into the basement, which goes down through this door. Um, the other side is completely electric. This side has a gas forced air furnace. So that was bedroom number one. So we're gonna come around here again. We were back to that living room. We're gonna come in again 
to bedroom number two. Now, however you would want to do this is up to you as far as um, master bedroom, because you had that bedroom that had a bathroom. Now, we have a closet here in this bedroom. You kind of pan around here. See the size of this bedroom. So let's go. Now, you also have a uh, another bathroom here. So however you'd want to do it, if you wanted to make this your master bedroom or the other one, they're <laughs> six of one, half a dozen, they're both large size. So we go back out to the, room, the living room from the front of the house. And now there's a sunken room here that you could use for really whatever purpose you wanted to serve. I mean, it could be a bedroom. It's got the closet. Or it just could be a playroom, maybe a workout room, whatever you prefer, or just storage. But we do have a lot to offer on this house. We do have a deck going out the other side, and then the parking would be on the street on this house. Um, the parking for the back apartment would be on the back of the house. So we have a lot to offer in this house, a lot of space, a lot of storage, a lot of history in this house for you history buffs out there i'm sure the owner would like to share some of the stories about where some of the wood came from very interesting stories here so if you see anything you like here you see any interest here in this property give myself or your realtor a call we'd we'll be glad to show you the property again this is 209 west cumberland street in beautiful preble county lewisburg ohio so thanks and thank you for touring with me and have a great day. So we're coming into 209 and a half Cumberland Street in Lewisburg, Ohio. And here we have three, potentially four bedroom side of the double here. This is the back side. So if you'll notice with me here as you come in through here, check out this woodwork. <laughs> It, it's something short of amazing. I should say nothing short of amazing. Now this owner built this little corner cabinet. The features in here are amazing. You almost have to see it to catch all the features of it. But you can see the, <laughs> the workmanship here. Amazing. You do have a plant shelf going all the way around. Come through here. So the uh, kitchen. You've got the kitchen down here. The uh, stove and refrigerator do convey with the property. So we come through here. Now these, I don't know if I can zoom in on this a little bit. These beams here, or these pillars, actually came out of the Eaton Library of you folks from Preble County. So this owner got these pillars from the old Eaton Library and refurbish them into this house. So a lot of the features that you see here are from buildings that were in Preble County at one time that they refurbished and put in here. So this was back in the day where they didn't throw things away. They reused them and made them nice. So I'm impressed. So as we go through here, this will be your laundry room. You've got your washer and dryer hook up there and then your electrical panel box, 200 amp service is behind this location you are metered separately in this house so here is your bathroom downstairs now this side does all have electric baseboard heat and the owner said it's amazing with the electric bills they are very 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 low and all the units are new the baseboard heater units are new in the property on this side so this is the bedroom downstairs We've got a decent sized bedroom down here. Again, new baseboard heating. Come around. We do have a little closet there. And then behind me, turn back around here. We have another closet there as well. So pretty good spacious room downstairs if you just wanted it for the downstairs and use the upstairs for storage. But once I show you the upstairs, <laughs> you may be interested in something else. So. Let me move in here to the sunken living room. That is very impressive as well. Again, the woodwork, start with the fireplace. Now it does have an electric plug there, so you could put an electric insert in there, but I don't believe it's wired, the chimney's wired or 
plumbed it, piped in, I'm sorry. And you'll notice the wood flooring. And then we'll get an overview of the sunken living room. Get in the baseboard heat. Now this door does lead out to a deck. Sorry about blinding you there. It does, I'm sorry, that's the other property that leads out to the deck, excuse me. We do have the open window that goes into the uh, first room when you come in. And again, there's the kitchen, kind of goes around and a view of the fireplace. Pretty neat, guys. So let me take you over to the staircase. I'll show you the way up the stairs and then we'll take a tour of the upstairs here. We're coming through here. And here is where the deck is, right off this door. So then you turn and we'll go up the stairs to the upstairs. I'll meet you up there. So we just came up the stairs. I'm gonna pan around here. Now this part is not quite finished, but it is very, very close to being finished. This could be a potential living room, possibly a bedroom. The owner has provided the carpet, just needs to be laid. Just a few minor things that need to be done to finish this upstairs to make it, if you counted this as a bedroom, there's one, we come around here. Here's a second bedroom. As you can see, now that carpet could be used for up here, but this carpet doesn't look to be in terrible shape. Um, whether you want to change it out, that's up to you. We do have a nice closet there and a dormer, a nice place for a desk maybe. So you come around here. The owner's taking a great care. I, I want to point out these barn beams here as well. The owner installed those himself years ago. So quite a, <laughs> quite a big ordeal undertaking. But wow, what a lot of character here. So this could be a potential living room. It could be a play area. It could be a pool table. It could be another bedroom. Endless possibilities. So we pan around here at the top of the steps when you first come up the steps at this landing. We actually have a kitchenette here. So it is all plumbed for a kitchen sink. You could have a, it's got a water line up here. You could have, a, you know, your own kitchen as well as it has a full bathroom up here too. Uh, the sink does work. The toilet does work. It just needs some faucets here in the bathtub to complete the project. Everything is very close to being completed. Just needs a little bit of handyman touch here. Water heater is new. It supplies the upstairs and the downstairs as well. So <laughs> this house has so many features. Very, very neat house. This was back when craftsmanship was a definitely an art and people had it because you can see it here. Look up above here. Now that is a loft area up there. You got the uh, little house on the prairie dating myself a little bit um, style, but you could actually put a mom and paw up there <laughs> or a child or just use storage uh, either way. But we do have the barn beams going clear across and then we have the archway window up at the top. Some nice lighting here. Finish that out. This could be an amazing place to live. So we've got the one bedroom downstairs. Possible, whatever you want to do with this room. Possible one, two. Let's pan over here to a possible third bedroom upstairs. Two for sure, one, whatever you want to do with it. That door does lead out to the attic. And then we again come around here. Carpet's decent in here, but you can take it out because you've got the extra carpet that the owner has allotted for the property. Um, we do have a closet in here too. So we for sure have two bedrooms up here, a kitchen area, and then we have a full bathroom and then a rec room, however you want to do with that. Um, sky's the limit. Mom and dad could be upstairs grown child upstairs. However your family dynamic works, this could work for you. So just letting you know, this is the back half of 209 West Cumberland Street, and I will meet you downstairs for some closing remarks. So thank you for taking this tour with me at 209 and a half West Cumberland Street. 
I think you'll find a lot of nice features here if you wanted to be a landlord, if you wanted to live here or rent it out to someone else, if you just wanted to rent both sides. Um, the possibilities are endless on this property, but it has a lot of features, a lot of cool stuff. So if you're interested in being an investor or if you're just interested in living simply, give us a call, give your realtor a call. Be happy to walk you through the property and I appreciate you taking this tour with us. Thank you.